The police chiefs of the triad's two largest cities are now each through a year on the job, and that year was unprecedented. Yeah, tonight we have exclusive access to both of them in a one-on-two interview. Fox Ace Michael Hennessy joins us here in the studio. Now, Michael, some unique perspectives from both of them, yeah, I would imagine. Neil Katie, Chief William Penn Jr. and Chief John Thompson began their law enforcement careers in 1997 and 98, respectively. So more than 50 years of experience between the two of them. And while all those years prepared them to take the title of chief, nothing could have prepared them for the trials to come. It's been exciting. It's been fun. It's been scary. It's been frustrating. Uh, all rolled into one. Record homicides. You know, for me, it's probably been one of the most challenging years of my career. Officer-involved shootings. You're forced to make decisions for the entire organization. An officer lost. It's different even as an assistant chief or a captain. Chief William Penn Jr. of the Winston-Salem Police Department and Greensboro Police Chief John Thompson were both sworn in at the beginning of 2023. Phenomenally talented people who care about the community, who want to be police officers for the right reasons. Since then, they've been balancing the needs of their organizations and the communities they serve. And they think the public perception of the police is trending positive. The events of 2020 had their department's numbers and officer morale in the dumps. The community had different expectations of their police departments and what they wanted from them in their communities. But through listening to the community and making those changes, support for the police is starting to be restored. They hear that, hey, the police department's listening to us. We're not the law enforcement of the past. We can't do the just the facts, ma'am or sir. Um, we have to delve into areas we've never delved into before. It's also things that go on outside of the public eye, like this Winston-Salem officer who sat down in the grass with somebody who needed help. Those are the photos, um, those rare moments that, that I don't think the community sees. You know, stuff like that really isn't that rare, though, is it? No. Just being captured like it is, but it's not rare at all. For these men, it's also about transparency. If you're not willing to be uncomfortable and be transparent with the community, you can't build trust. But also internally, uh, we, we've been intentional about explaining to our, to our staff what we're trying to accomplish, um, the vision for the agency. But what's hard for some to trust is two cities being secure when they both set records for homicide in these chiefs' first years. When you hear about 74 homicides, you know, people start to wonder, am I safe to go to the grocery store? Am I safe to, to take my kids to the park? There is relationships in, the, in these homicides, so you can go to the grocery store, you can get a bite to eat, it is safe. What's frustrating for both top cops is the killings keep happening despite crimes like aggravated and firearm assaults being down in both of their cities. On two occasions, on two occasions, um, we had parents and murder-suicides kill their children. Just, this is one of those things you, you just can't prepare yourself for. Some of those cases, we'd never had really any interactions with the family or the individuals. Um, there was obviously a mental health component in a lot of the, the homicides as well. With domestic situations like those being so impactful on the officers, there's an emphasis on what they call employee wellness. That wasn't something I came up in the agency doing, but it, it's been really a priority for us now. You know, you can say this, this really impacted me like I, I need I need some time off I need I need some help I need to talk to somebody and it's accepted you're not looked down from other officers in the organization the chiefs who hardly knew each other mere years ago now lean heavily on one another when trying new things the suspects in that immediately came to Winston-Salem and in the most trying of times like the death of Sergeant Dale Nix you know I'm in the city dealing with uh, the family um, notifying family members, um, trying to figure out how to help the officers. And, you know, I get a phone call that, hey, they're working in Winston-Salem and, and Chief Penn and his folks are on it. It's an overall turning of the tide, paired with pay increases and other benefits that has both departments potentially looking at their first net gain of officers since before the pandemic. All of those combined are, are making the Winston-Salem Police Department just a, a more attractive place to work. Now, I will say that I think the, the Greensboro Police Department is more attractive than the Winston-Salem <laughs> Police Department.
Well, that's just part of the conversation the three of us had. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about what they say needs to change in the justice system to keep violent criminals off the streets. And the number one complaint these departments get from you at home. That one might surprise you. We'll tell you back here tomorrow night at 10. Van.